Hey everybody, we have another Attack Wing unboxing, and this time it's going to be the full starter set, which I have not done yet. Okay, this is my brand new uh, starter set. Unfortunately, I have not had one before, uh, so I got this for Christmas, which is something I really wanted. So, let's see what's in the box. Okay. Start with the ships themselves, I guess. First, you get a Vorture class ship. Of course, um, this is really the only way to get these ships right now. Hopefully, they'll release these things. Or maybe a, a different version. So, there's a Vorture class ship. The Galaxy class ship. We've all seen before. And the Romulan Nidaridex class, Bird of Prey. So, three pretty well balanced ships. I mean, they're all about the same power. Um, this is what, what you get in the starter set. So get a big planet template for use with missions. And here are the two loose uh, things, which is the measuring and the six forward, which is really only useful right now if you have a transwarp drive. Here is a little bag of damage cards. That's what's going on here. They have regular cards. Now, if you know much about Attack Wing, you know that they kind of changed their card printing, um, starting with the second wave of ships. And these are actually the same as the. Oh, it's not going to get out of there easily. As the wave ships. So these are not the smooth, shiny cards that came in the starter sets originally, but these are much more like the cards that come in the current ships. A little more, uh, you can see the print, you can see lines on them, and a little rougher, harder to move around. But it's interesting how the star set has also changed its uh, card stock and it includes all the damage cards stun helmsman, console fire, all the usual ones, usual damage cards. There are several of each critical damage. So the stun helmsman, um, next time you attack, you don't roll any attack die. Console fire. There's a lot of two, three. I'm just curious. Four. I think there's four warp core breaches in the deck. So just kind of curious. There are the dice that comes with, of course. Five of each. Something I haven't had. Three flying bases. Um, six pegs and the plastic for the mini ring dials. Let's take a look at these cards here. First we have the Galaxy Class Enterprise, which has the great ability of a range 1 to 2 attack with 3 dice in any direction. Uh, generic Federation Captain. Still the best captain in the game is Jean-Luc Picard. Not only has his captain skill of 9 and elite talent slot, but also has free actions. Here is Captain Riker. This is basically a uh, retaliation attack. The Great Data, which I've played a lot, which gives you two of eight tokens. Short of the Forge, which is like a boosted scan. Scan token, you force one shift to attack to reroll defense dice. The Great Miles O'Brien, which is used to discard, disable additional up, uh, upgrades on other ships. Fourth, which is reroll attacks. Here's a maneuvering plate for the Galaxy class. Lots of speed, not too much in maneuverability. I love this card engage. If you perform a green maneuver, you may immediately perform an additional green maneuver. Four times the power token. Antimatter mines. Here are the Federation Photon Torpedoes. Which two to three. Uh, now we get into the Romulan to Derek's class. Here's a standard one. Standard captain. Toreth, which converts an attack into a crit, or a hit into a crit. This is one that this is a one of the one point crew. There's one of these for every faction that allows you to discard a uh, crew upgrade. Invec can disable one of your active shields in order to gain plus one attack. That's definitely not too bad. Derek class moving around is a lot more maneuverable than the Galaxy class, but not as fast. Uh, counter 
counterattack. If your ship shields are hull or damaged, you may need to take one free attack against that ship. Unless you're destroyed. Qu Artificial Quantum Singularity, which cancels, nullifies a scan token. Plasma Torpedoes, which allows you to reroll all of your blank results. I must have missed the... Uh, huh. Oh, there it is. There's the Kazara. This is the ship it comes with. If you initiate an attack while cloaked, you add plus one attack though, which is definitely not bad. This one has an attack sl a tech slot, so you could actually take the advanced weapon system on there. Ah, here we have the Klingon ship, the Maka, the one I've been kind of looking for. And your ship attacking you at range one rolls one less attack die, so it actually basically negates the range one bonus. And this one, you know, lots, lots of hull, lots of shields. There's a generic version, of course, generic captain. New dock. When attacking, you may convert one battle station into a hit, so it's kind of like a uh, cheap battle station. Here's the one that discards a uh, crew upgrade. If your ship is not cloaked, you may repair one shield token as an action. It's kind of spendy though. Fortress class, again, uh, much more maneuverable than a uh, than the Enterprise, but not as fast. Uh, tractor beam. Target ship at range one, roll two dice for every hit that shows one less defense dice against you. Yeah. If it just canceled two, two defense dice, that would be much better. Here's the advanced weapon system, of course, which I've used a lot. And the Klingon Photon Torpedoes. So those are all the cards that come with the ship, come with the starter set. And here we have the big bag of everything else. Last one wants to take the punch out. We're starting with the rule book. The quick start rules, which basically uh, ignores all kinds of upgrades and shields and crits or anything. It just uh, hits or hits. And it's actually a very, very good uh, way to get started with the quick start rules. They work very well. Uh, that's what I did the first time I started playing. The four rules, it's only 28 pages. There's not a lot of rules, and they're all pretty clear. I mean, there's a fax on Board Game Geek, but um, they're still pretty clear. And then we got five big pages of tokens and all the maneuvering dials. These are objective markers, or they are actually a picture of DS9 on them. It's kind of cool. Lots of evades. These are mission tokens, which you use in a lot of the missions, um, obviously. They're really good. We got some damaged ships. Here are the cloaked mines token. Here are the cloaked mines. Some sort of junk ship again. Objective markers. Maneuvering dials and the ship cards. Here are your cloak tokens, the target locks, and the rest of the maneuvering dials. Oh, these are the. No one actually ever uses these. <laughs> I've never seen anyone use these. But supposedly, when you have a critical hit on your ship, even in addition to the card at the ship, you're supposed to put one of these on the ship itself um, or on the table next to the ship. But I've never actually seen anyone do that with the uh, these critical hit tokens. So yeah, that's what you get with the attack wing starter set. Definitely more than enough to play. Um, some of the, as I said, some of the best cards in the game come with this. So, like Picard and, and Miles O'Brien are definitely things uh, that uh, you're going to want. Uh, plus the dice and everything else to play. And a lot of people actually end up buying more than one of these, so they get the sec get a duplicates of some of these cards, so you can run, you know, both an Enterprise D and a generic Galaxy class. Um, or you get another set of dice. So there's a lot of people that usually end up buying two just for all the extra stuff. Um, so that's it. That's going to be it for this video. I'll talk to you guys later.